Hi, and welcome to another Ideal Calibrations How to Calibrate Your Gas Detector Series video. I'm um, James Moore, and today we're going to be looking at the GMI PS241, uh, which is in the PS200 series. So let's get this started up, and we're going to show you how to calibrate it. Press and hold the power button on the right side for two seconds. And when the pump turns on, you can go ahead and release it. And we're going to be waiting for the screen here to count down. You go left, right, left, right. And then see how it starts using, doing, showing this M here? That means that you're going to be into calibration mode. Let's make sure you can see that. See the M? Okay, well. Here we are. Calibration overdue. It's paused. Let's, so you're going to say continue? Yes. Okay. And while it's going through the sensor check, it's going to take us to the menu in a moment. Uh, let's get our calibration gas ready. So you can see here, we've got a mix of 25 parts per million hydrogen sulfide, 100 parts per million carbon monoxide, 50% allyl methane, 18% oxygen with a nitrogen balance. And if we check the expiration date, uh, currently I'm good because it's February 2021 right now, but make sure you check that. That's a hard expiration date. If it's expired, get a new cylinder. All right, and you can see that our menu here has changed, but we're going to finish setting this up. So, first thing we're going to do, take your regulator. It should be a 0.5 liter per minute regulator, the C10 fitting. Go ahead and open the valve on it. And what we're doing is we're creating a release uh, valve here for this gas. So we don't want room air that might be moist to get trapped inside the cylinder when we screw it in. So this lets it, gives it a place to go when the cylinder pressurizes the, the regulator. So go ahead and screw that in all the way. And then once it's in, go ahead and turn it off. All right, good deal. And then we take our tubing, which has this adapter here on the end. All right, put that on the cylinder. So you want to just go down past the first barb on the hose barb here. Don't go down all the way or it becomes a real pain to get this off of the regulator. So that's good, just enough to secure it. Okay, now let's take a look at our screen here. We're going to go down, we want to go down to calibrate, so to do that you press the enter button once. And you see now the menu is at calibrate. We're going to press the power button to enter. There we go. Now the code we want is 333. You enter that by going 1, 2, 3, and then move to the next one, and 1, 2, 3, and hit accept. We're going to hold power to zero all ranges. That's power button. Now it's zeroing. Release. Now it says cal option, user set or auto set. We're going to use auto set. Uh, let's press and hold the power button here. And I'll apply gas. So we take our calibration adapter here, plug it into the bottom, and turn our gas on. And you can see the monitor detecting the gas now. This one unit hasn't been calibrated in a while, so you can see the LEL is a little high, CO is a little bit low, 86 out of 100, and H2S is seen a little bit low. So this is what happens as the sensors age over time. So the software is going to try and bring it up as high as it can, and we'll see if it gets within range by the time this countdown ends. goes. See, that, that was a software right there going through an appliance. Perfect. Do we want to save the results? Okay, we're going to go update, press and hold the right button. Go ahead and turn the gas off now, by the way. Take that off. 
and I'll screw that in. And now for the purpose of this, uh, I'm not going to go ahead and update the date here, but that's when the next one's due. Press and power to finish. Perfect. And now we're all done, so we're going to go to normal by pressing and holding the power button. Okay. And here's the unit. So now the pump's operating, uh, so it's drawing fresh air in here so we can watch all of our values going down. And you can see that CO is going down towards zero. It takes a little bit of time for the sensor to eat the gas. Uh, so, so what we're going to do here now is we're actually going to go through and we're going to do a bump test. It's just a manual bump test. So what you would do is you would do the test that I'm going to walk you through and then you're going to record that today's date that you did the bump test and that you checked all of the sensors to make sure that they were reading and all the alarms worked and you'll keep that for your records for OSHA or whatever your regulating agency is uh, if you want help setting up a bump sheet or anything along those lines you know feel free to give us a call or leave a comment I'm happy to help with that okay so a bump test so we started the monitor it's in normal reading mode uh, reading 000 and 20.9 for oxygen the pump is currently on, so we don't want to attach a fixed flow regulator like this to a pumped operation monitor. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the pump off by pressing and hold the power button. Just about a second. And then it turns the pump off. So now it's reading in a diffusion mode, but we can access this port on the bottom to deliver gas. So it's in normal reading mode. Attach your gas, turn it on. And this really only needs about 10 seconds of gas. I'm just verifying a few quick things. Number one. The sensors are all moving up to their intended destination. All the alarms are going off. I can see the strobes. I can hear that horn. And I can feel it vibrating in my hand. So that's the sign that all the sensors are working properly. And uh, that all the alarms are loud enough that I can hear them here. Okay? So this one here, this, this CO, we don't have to wait for that to get up to 100. If it just gets up to even 80% of the value, that's just fine. Uh, you don't need to run it up all the way. We're not doing a quantification check. This is just a strict uh, qualification bump test. Okay, so we're going to turn that off now. So now when you're doing it, as soon as you hear the alarms go off and you see all the sensors moving, uh, you can be done with the bump test and dis disconnect the gas. So uh, we were just running it for a little bit of time there to show you what it looks like and talk about it. So if you press and hold this button, we're going to turn the pump back on. Right, we're going to acknowledge the alarm first. Now we'll turn the pump back on. And so now it's back in pumped operation mode, so it's drawn from this bottom port here. Okay. Now if you have any questions today, feel free to leave a comment. If uh, you appreciated the video or it helped you out, please like, subscribe to the page, all that stuff. Uh, and if you have any questions, you can always feel free to send us an email at support at idealcalibrations.com. Uh, or you can call us on the phone at 734-956-0539. Thank you much. You guys have a great day and stay safe out there.